All right, is the chord device. Chord device is a MIDI effect. And for those that don't know, we have audio effects in live and we also have MIDI effects in live, which affect the MIDI. Audio affects the audio, MIDI affects the MIDI. And MIDI effects sits at the start of the device chain. So the effectively affects the input signal before it reaches the instrument. And it's probably best I do this by demonstrating. So let's go into our MIDI effects category down here on the side of the browser. Just make sure you guys can see that. Yes, we're all good. And we've got the chord up here. Now there's a bunch of presets underneath here. You can go in here and explore these if you like, but I like to just start from fresh. It's going to drop this into a MIDI track. And for reference, let's grab, say, a just a grand piano. That'll do. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, if we go into the chord, I might do this on the push just because it looks kind of nice. Let's uh, transition back, shall we? All right. So you can see along here that I've got these six shifts, and this is essentially where I can place extra notes above my original note. It's a MIDI effect, so it's affecting the MIDI input. Okay, so we've got a note coming in here. Now, if I go to my first shift, Let's start bringing up the values here. These are very sensitive. That's a one step, two step, three step. That's your minor third there. Four step, major third. Let's go up. There's your perfect fifth. That's a seven step and so on. So let's just make up a, let's make up a minor chord. And the next one along. It's just with the seven. And we could put, say, maybe an octave in here. Cool. So these are semitones, right? So three semitones, seven semitones, and 12 semitones. And now I've just got a nice minor chord. And we could go major chord. I'll just bring this up to a four step. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. All right, so let's make a slightly cooler chord, shall we? So let's go, let's bring this down to zero. Let's bring this down to zero. I'm going to start. This is a cool This is a cool chord. And if you want to write this down, you can. First step's going to be 10. Because you may not remember this. Second step's going to be 14. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Third step is going to be 15. Sounds a bit off. We're getting a bit of dissonance there, but it's kind of nice. Once we kind of resolve this chord with the last note, we're going to put in a 19, 16, 18. Oh, there it is. It's that magic chord. It's basically what makes up every... <laughs> <laughs> every kind of classic house track. Actually, I was messing around with this uh, the other day and it sounds a lot like the uh, Todd Terge track Strand Bar. Is that the one? So I think that's kind of a cool idea we could run with. So I'm just going to grab some drums. Let's get a 909. Drop that in here because we're making house music. Let's get a groove going, shall we? Well, okay, we're still at 90 BPM. Let's bring that up to a house groove. Where are we? 123, that'll do. All right, we're in the club already. Let's record these in live, shall we? Quantize that. Let's tighten up this hi-hat a little bit. It's a bit crazy. Envelopes. Bring the release down. Awesome. Let's go back to the piano, shall we?
let's record this in. Two, three, four, two, two. Yeah, maybe just a two bar loop will do. One, two, let's do it. One, two, three, uh. <laughs> That was awful. Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, oh, this is tricky. One, two, three. Oh. There we go. I could just groove on that all day. But already, right? Already I'm kind of like, I'm in the groove. I'm in the moment. And like, that's just a starting point. And now I'm like, I'm ready to write music and more and better music kind of thing. But it gets me in the right headspace. And that's essentially what this whole stream is about. It's just getting in the right frame of mind to create some music. 